in a horror movie. He just went around cities absorbing people and taking their, you know, absorbing them into nothing and just absorbing them for food. He was so fucking creepy. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Alright. What is the first so uh, And your final question is, what is the saga you f saw first? My, the first saga I ever saw was pretty much the Saiyan saga, like I've said before. Anyway, thank you for those questions. Moving on now to Christian Sager, who asks, uh, again, what are my thoughts on Dragon Ball Super? Hopefully it'll be good, like I've said before. Second question, do you think Frieza could have been more effective if he wasn't so arrogant? In, uh, what I mean, since three months of training made him stronger than Boo ever was, what could have happened if he trained from the start? That's a good question. Like, instead of just uh, depending on his inherent abil abilities and training, because three months made him into Golden Frieza. Imagine what it would have been like if he, you know, trained from being at a young age like Goku did. The possibilities are endless. Anyway. So, third question. Do you think the Saiyans could still go Super Saiyan in a Zoro form? Hmm. Didn't uh, Baby do that when he possessed Vegeta? Didn't he become Super Azoro or something? Maybe I'm remembering it wrong, but yeah, it would have been cool. Like that would like uh, maybe instead, you know, since I guess Gohan can't become, uh, well, he got his tail cut off, so I don't know. Anyway. <clears throat> Thank you for those questions, Christian Sager. Moving on now to Jesse MB23. Uh, any non-canon -ca characters, storylines, and transformations in any media are your respected are your favorites. Um, can't really think of one. I guess favorite storyline, the great. I, I think yeah, Great Saiyan Man. That was a fun little story. There you go. All right. Well. Uh, would you want any of those Afro-discussed non-canon elements to, in the in the prior question to be reconnected as canon at some point? Eh, they were fine on their own. Don't really need to be canon. Third question. Would you want something to happen in the storyline of the upcoming Dragon Ball Super that causes a rebalancing of power? Basically, like, Gohan, Go uh, Goku, and Vegeta get depowered, and some of the other characters get stronger. I think it would be nice to see, like, a balance of all the DBZ characters fighting you know, equally. I think that would be really nice to see. Like, uh, imagine if, like, Goku or Vegeta went down, then, you know, Gohan and the others could be right there to help fight back. Anyway. <clears throat> Thank you for those questions, Jesse MB3. MB27, excuse me. Moving on now to, um... Andrew Varney, who asks, Who is your favorite Ginyu Force member and why? Uh, like you, it's Jice. <laughs> yep, and Goldo, but a bridge Goldo only. <laughs> My per the reason why I like Goldo is because, like I said, abridged and have a biscuit. <laughs> All right. Uh, how might Maj Majin Buu and Goku react to an all-you-can-eat buffet? The buffet would be closed, and the buffet and the and the following ones, so on, so forth. All right. Have you ever played B DBZ Budokai Tenkaichi three before? And who would you usually play as? Never really played Tenkaichi, but I played Budokai three, and uh, the one character I played the most in that one was Broly, Vegeta, Tien. And yeah, those th those ones. Anyway, think of those qu those questions, Andrew Varney. Moving on now to NX fifty seven. Ert, hope I'm saying that. I hope I hope I didn't butcher that name. But yeah, uh, this person asks, um, did you know that the voice actor in, in for Goku in Latin Spanish Mario Castandra is also translated to Jim Carrey? I did not know that. Uh, already answered the whole pan Super Saiyan, go uh, Super Saiyan mode. Uh, third question: Do you think there might have been an android powerful enough to see uh, to face Super Saiyan God Goku? We may see one. We may see one in Dragon Ball Super. It's a possibility. All right. Next question comes from Delta Heatran, or Delta, as he as he asked me to call him. 
And first question is, if you could ma have your own signature attack, what would it be and how would you do it? Hmm... I don't know. Maybe... Create, like, little energy balls, have them go around the person and just snap my fingers. They all just explode like a grenade, like a series of mines. I don't know. Alright. Uh, do you think the human characters in DBZ will discover a human mode, a human god mode they maintain to help uh, in Dragon Ball Super to help Goku? Um, probably not. Probably not. Would be surprised, but probably not. Alright, third question. Do you think that Broly or any other movie villains may be reconnected and becoming canon to Dragon Ball Super, since it's confirmed that the whole Super Saiyan God prophecy will probably be discovered a different way in Battle of Gods? That could happen. I think Super Saiyan God Broly may be a possibility. Uh, but we'll again, we'll just have to wait and see and uh, just see what happens. Anyway, so moving on, thank you for those questions. Moving on now to Cody Bradish, who asks... My top three favorite Dragon Ball Z characters are overall Piccolo, Gohan, and Vegeta. Out of these three, which who do you like the most? Um, I kind of like them all equally, really. I can't really pick and choose out of those three. Alright. Which of the DBZ movies and animated specials like Tree of Life and Revenge of Cooler are your favorite and least favorites? Uh, favorite uh, Legendary Super Saiyan, least favorite Bio Broly. No, really, Bio Broly sucks. I hate Bio Broly. If anyone out there likes it, it's totally fine. But me, god damn, does Bio Broly suck. Second, Broly's second coming's cool, even though it makes no fucking sense of how Broly comes back, because at the end of, you know, Legendary Super Saiyan, Goku kills him. We see Broly blow up. But then we see Broly, for some reason, come down to Earth in a spaceship, even though there was none, and goes into a coma. Yeah, it makes no sense. And then, he, and then you know, it's really hard to find DNA when, you know, Go, you know, when Goku and his family and his sons shot a Kamehameha in Goku, excuse me, they shot the Kamehameha Broly into the fucking sun, so I have no idea how that's, how that all works out. Although, you could have said, oh, well, they could have found DNA during his fight with Gohan. Okay, that's a given, but still, it shouldn't, you know, the whole thing with, um, it comes out, he comes out like this muck monster, it, like the DNA is all messed up, and then Rain kills him? Seriously? Fucking Rain? Now, it does do something right of having the, le like, lesser characters fight the, the, fight the villain, like Goten, Trunks, 18, Krillin... And I think Hercule and Ve yeah, Hercule's there too. But yeah, it that that's the only saving grace that it doesn't really focus on the big characters, just the minor characters. But still, that movie's pretty bad. It doesn't even focus on Broly, or this clone of Broly, rather. Anyway, <clears throat> Ugh, so there you go. Can't believe I went to a whole huge rant on that one. Yeah. And your third question is, do you feel a lot of secondary characters like Yamcha and Tien were pretty much useless and shouldn't have been br brought back during the Buu saga because how overpowered they were next to the other characters that time? Yeah, Tien can come back. I like Tien. Yamcha, you would stay fucking dead. <laughs> That's my thoughts on it. Anyway, thank you for those questions, Cody. Moving on now to Jesse Sutrez, who asks, um, which alternate incarnation of a Z fighter would you like to have seen act as a hypothetical ally to future trunks in Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse. Didn't really play Xenoverse, sadly. I didn't play the Xenoverse game, but if you're asking me, like, alternate timeline character, um, maybe... Well, I guess all the other characters were killed, so... Hmm. All the other characters were killed by the, uh... by the, dra by the other characters, so... Huh. Maybe Yajirobe? I don't know. Anyway, they have those questions. Jesse, think, moving on now to uh, Trevor Smolka, who asks, What is your expectation... Okay, again, um, Resurrection F. Uh, hoping it's... Okay, he's basically asking, What are my thoughts on Re Resurrection F? Hopefully it'll be good. Oh, I'm still kind of like Golden Frieza. Okay, interesting choice of transformation, but I'll give it a shot. Hopefully, I'm really hoping it's good. Anyway, second question. 
Who is your all-time favorite characters in Dragon Ball Z Universe? Um, Tien. Yeah, Tien's my favorite Dragon Ball Z character, because he always seemed like he always wanted to train harder, even though Yamcha and Krillin just gave up. Kr Tien kept training. And, you know, he still showed himself when he fought Near Perfect Cell. Didn't win, but he proved he he fought hard. Um mm. So, yeah. Anyway, second, uh, third question. Now that Dragon Ball GT is no longer canon, thanks to Battle of Gods reconnecting that series out of existence, uh, retconning that series, excuse me, I'm just wondering, out of the uh, entire series on a whole, was the, who is your favorite villain in the series of GT? Um, Super, I, as much as I don't care much for GT, Super Android 17 was pretty cool. It's showcased again a lot of lesser characters and set, Super and seeing Android 17 himself, who I actually really like Android 17. I always thought he was pretty cool, um, and seeing him g get more spotlight, I thought was pretty awesome. And it was a great story building arc for uh, for uh, 18. Anyway, thank you for those questions, Treva. Moving on now to John Kelly, who asks most badass Gohan moment in the series. The whole history of Trunks movie. That it counts as a bat because that Gohan was totally awesome. That Gohan was totally badass. <laughs> anyway. If you had the powers of all the Z fighters for one day, what would you do? Go around blow shit up. Alright. Favorite minor character, for example, like Kirion. Uh Kirin. Uh, the white cat. My favorite minor character, Yajirobe. <laughs> Everyone seems to forget that Yajirobe was the one who cut off Vegeta's tail and helped save the world. Yeah, let's not forget that, people. <laughs> anyway, thank you for those questions, John Kelly. Moving on now to Grimlock1992, who asks... How would you react if you could have meet Shenron and get one free wish? I already answered this question, Grimlock. Um, second question. How would you make a romance for Piccolo, and if so, would it be human, alien, or female, or a female Nomekian? You know, Piccolo never really struck me as the romantic guy. He just concerned himself with protecting the Earth and training with the other human. You know, training with the others. Not to say, like, he's gay or anything, but I think... Piccolo was more concerned. Was he didn't really bother himself with relationships. He never really. He never struck me as you know a guy looking for love. You know he just concerned himself with what he considered to be bigger tasks. Having said that though, I did. I did. I did for a short time. Sh did a crossover ship with um, Piccolo and Starling from Stormhawks. Yeah, Piccolo and Starling. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. But yeah, again, he never really struck me as a guy who would go out of his way to find, you know, someone to be with. So he may be asexual. You know, guy never, you know, he's totally fine with being in his own, you know, being in his own ship. <laughs> anyway, but you never know. Maybe Super will give him a girlfriend. <laughs> anyway. Um... What would you think if Cell and Frieza were brought back to life as but as human like Oob like for Kid Boo? I don't know. They'd still be bad. These go those two are never gonna change. <laughs> Alright. And think of those questions, Grimlock moving on now to Hakalos. I hope I'm saying that name right. Move and he asks, and this person asks, uh oh yeah, the Super Saiyan question, the Pan Super Saiyan question already answered that. Um, do you want to, uh, uh, do you want Super to erase GT? I think it's already doing that, so yeah. And what cooler, um, what color would Super Saiyan 3, God 3, you know, Super Saiyan God 3 be? Yeah, that's the other thing. What if they make Super Saiyan God 3? What are they gonna call that? Like, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan? Or Super Saiyan God Ultra Saiyan, or, I don't know. Or Super Saiyan God Ultra Mega Super Saiyan Shabbity Doo. Yeah. How about green? Yeah, let's go green here. <laughs> you know, then we could, you know, then, um, then we could have, like, people have the Green Ranger theme start playing. Go Green Ranger. 
Ranger. Oh, that was terrible. I apologize.